Dharavi is arguably the largest slum in the entire world. Ridden with landfills of trash, gangs who shower, live, and cook under a pipe, and a variation of factories that in the rest of the world would be considered inhumane. How much can they make a month doing that? 80, 90 cents an hour to chop up leather. Today, I've set out into the streets myself to better understand what life is like in Darby, to see the beauty in the dark, to get a hands-on experience of the filth, the poverty, the potentially sickening street food, and the friendly, honest, hard-working people of the slums of Mumbai. Warning, this video is not meant to glorify nor promote illegal activities, simply to educate you on a way of life you've never been shown. Do not reenact. Extended cuts can be found on ArabUncut.com. We started the day right outside of the Mahim train station. On the streets were adults with really basic shops trying to make a few rupees, and children without garments running around begging for money. They were just out in the streets. It was wild. Supporting. Supporting. Yeah, supporting children. <laughs> wow. That is... In a non-sexual way, just the reality of life. Everywhere we're walking, we're getting asked for money. I need to be more conservative here. We're gonna get rinsed before we get in. Hey, did you? Hi, how are you? We're not even in the slum yet, so we're about to enter Dharavi. You guys are about to see some crazy shit. Literally the largest slum in the entire world. Okay, it is the most densely populated. Hi. Money, money. No, 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 that's it. Money, that's money, all. Money, money. money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want money? You money. And this time, and this time. Bro, this is insane. Money, money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That was insane. Above Daravi lies a bridge which connects all the different entry points. But below us, there's a crazy, crazy amount of trash. Okay, and this is the beginning of the slum. There's also a little goat farm right here. I'm certain that on this bridge, someone here is a watchman for a dealer or something, a no, gang that probably, protects this probably. place. No, someone who's trying to sell the shit here. So on the sides are people sleeping. You wanna, he's gonna be our guide? Yeah. Nice. Nice, good work. What's your name, bro? Yeah, you're gonna be our guy. What's your name, bro? Hussein. That's the hand he wipes his ass with, right? <laughs> Left hand? Obviously. Great. <laughs> you see uh, behind this are insane amounts of piles of trash. And, and, and ask him when he goes to the bathroom, does he wipe with his left hand? Yes, yes. Nice, great. <laughs> Tell him next time, don't shake with your left. <laughs> My hand has basically been in another man's ass. You see the views from up here? You know, this is a real slum. Well, we filmed the other day in the last video, and the Redonger is nothing compared to this place. Oh, these guys are selling backpacks here. Hey, my friend, how much? How many rupees? Adibas. Adibos. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought it was Adidas. <laughs> 350 rupees. 350? He's scamming. He's saying this is uh, four, this is four dollars. Could you do like 120 rupees? Uh, he's not scamming to be honest, it's four dollars. In front of me is a river completely filled with trash. Below me are markets. And this is the road that runs between the Ravi. All the poverty that we are about to see is nothing compared to the genocide happening in Palestine right now. The largest, the most densely populated poorest area in the entire world in Mumbai, India. We're about to see filth, okay? Shit everywhere. Trash everywhere. And it is still nothing compared to the genocide happening in Gaza, Palestine. Oh, we are entering now into the Dharavi. Here's a goat on the right, on the left. Trash everywhere. This is a they leather factory? Shirts. No, they are making shirts. Inside the factory, the clothes factory that we just saw, it smells like fish. Garvey like has multiple market. types of hustles. Clothes, leather, plastic. Actually, many people who sleep in these places are quite rich. On our left and right was a variety of factories. This dude was watching the India-Pakistan cricket match on his phone while he laser cut plastic shapes for a client. Outside was little children playing cricket in a small alley. I slid them a bit of cash to have some fun, and this baby coming down the stairs was looking at me like I was some sort of alien. Much like the other slums I've been to, a lot of the electricity is stolen. So this is the 
factory side of Dharavi. Um, obviously, I'm getting a lot of looks as I walk by. Um, yeah, I try to help as many people as I can while I'm in here. So, on my right, on my left, are a bunch of shops. It's every man for himself, whoever's got the most balls and knows how to use them correctly. Look, there's a... Uh, Poma. Poma. Yeah, Poma. Poma. Adibos. Adibos. Uh, there is an Adidas though. But there's an Adibos. A Facebook backpack. If you feel safe, only then we will. How much is it? Wait, wait, wait. So it is masala powder inside. Oh, nice. He just killed two Indian children. How's it feel? Nice. You're killing your own people. Fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. Uh, let's try this. Have a little masala with that. It's basically salt and red pepper. How is it? Cucumber with masala. Refreshing. Refreshing, right. Very refreshing on this hot, hot day. ass day. <laughs> I want to know how much it is though. Mm. It's now one. One is 10 rupees. We then walked into the landfill where I saw these two shirtless dudes digging up this black filthy water. The owner was there and I had him break down his entire business model for us. So they use a grinder machine for that and then they wash it. This is all scrap? Get, yeah, yeah, it gets recycled afterwards. So they, you know, uh, wash it inside two waters. One is salt water and one is normal water. That's salt, this is normal. So they buy it for about grind, four or five cents a kilogram. So they, no, no, no. They actually pay the grinding machine person. Uh, three rupees for one kg of plastic. And how much do they sell the plastic for? What percentage profit? Five rupees, six rupees kg. Okay, and how much can they sell it for after it's cleaned and washed? Twenty to thirty. He said that. Yes. Okay. How much does one sell for? Two thousand rupees one. Uh... So how much does an employee here earn? One of these doing this. Four hundred rupees per day. Oh, per day. Yeah, per day. So five dollars. And this gets used for the hospital. No, no, this, this has came from the hospital. Oh, this comes from the hospital. Yeah. So next time you think that your life is hard, look here, okay? These people are working for $5 a day, sitting in trash pile. And you're sitting watching, the ability to watch this video. This is reality, okay? This is reality for people. The entire breakdown, if you want to learn that business, is on ArabUncut.com. From there, we headed deeper under the bridge to interact with the local meth addicts. Dodging trash and shit along the way, we found ourselves next to the pipes of water the supply to the entirety of Mumbai. I've shown you guys a lot, but what I've shown you is just a fraction of what I've actually filmed. The extended cut is on my website, ArabUncut.com, where you guys can sign up to see how the real world actually works. I go to some of the most dangerous, most dirty, and largest slums in the entire world and show a real life that nobody else is showing. And you can go find it on my website because YouTube doesn't let me show everything, okay? They ban my content. When I show you guys it raw and unfiltered. Be careful for snakes also. Be careful for snakes here? Yeah. I'm surrounded by snakes around me all the time. So they're making food here? Yeah. Is this the hangout spot? Yeah, yeah. Every day they make the food here. What's up, bro? You a rapper? You a rapper? That guy's beatboxing was ass. What is it? This is where you shower? Is this a real leak or do they make the leak? Yeah, yeah, it was. Some people, you know, make the leak, but sometimes there are the leak. Yeah, yeah. Let me sit. Let me sit back. Bro, bro, ask him. Ask him. What kind of disrespect is this? I had the best seat in the house, and he took it from me. Sorry, sorry. You're an artist. Atish. Your his name is Atish. He's an Yeah. No, no, his name is Atish. Okay, you're not Atish. Ah, okay. Hey, people online say I'm an as well. <laughs> you guys heard it here, okay? You're telling me Mr. Beast has better ad placements than me? Come on. You know Mr. Beast? Yes, yes, yes. Shit, Mr. Beast does have better ad placements than me. So the word has gotten out, you see? Word of my presence got around and the leaders were here with a pipe in hand in case they had to beat the foreigner. I mean, this guy who walked in had eyes of a killer. He ignored my greeting, but I was quickly able to break him down like I do most of the gangs I meet. Hey. Nice to meet you, man. What's your name? My name is Aiva. My name is Aiva. So this is Yeah, this is the local the one who has maybe some shit in it. Yeah. After Eva had shown up, the entire atmosphere changed. 
I can't show the rest of the footage here, but you can watch the entire hour session with them on ArabUncut.com. YouTube actually removed our previous video for even showing a snippet. I'm not saying this just to get you to my site. Because of the unpredictable crazy stuff we film, YouTube makes me water down so much of this footage, sometimes having to remove entire uploads. On my site, there's a variety of free videos, and for the price of two McDonald's cheeseburgers, an option to support the channel monetarily so we can keep pumping out content. He's the local town Yes, yes, yes. Mine! Oh! Experience. We were there for about an hour. Bunch of clothes right here. Subscribe to our up. Yes, good shit, bro. Oh, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Tell them I love you. Like 40 kids in the back of a truck. That's not a So he is sitting Can you see? They have a. Uh, Pretty decent food at the entrance of Dharavi. This is a pharmacy, yeah? Yeah, all the Ayurvedic pharmacy. Do they sell steroids? The conversation got pretty vulgar here, but they basically sell this performance enhancing oil if you're trying to go from an iPhone 13 to an iPad. That's crazy. That's mad. That for sure gives you a heart attack. We stumbled into a guy who picks up trash in the river. He floats on two sponges and swims in literal shit as a job. He works for five hours a day. Five hours a day. Yes. And how much does he make a day? Two, three thousand rupees, you know. Oh. Yeah, so that's good a work. big deal. Yeah, good work. Forty dollars. Yeah. Five hours a day. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he can save most of that. He saves fifteen thousand rupees. He's saying, but I think he more. saves more than that. Yeah. Yeah. So he saves about three hundred dollars a month. He's saying. He's in a river full of trash. That's crazy to swim in that. How deep is the water, Ask? So uh, the thing here is like quicksand, he's saying, and at least 100 foot, it would be, he's saying 200 feet, but I don't Low? know. Yes, yes, yes. No way. It's like quicksand. They can't do this work without being drunk. Really? Yeah, only while they are drunk. So probably they are drunk 24, hour, 24 hours of the day. Hello. Oh, this shit, yo, this shit looks good. This is paratha. How much Eight is a paratha? paratha? 10 rupees? Uh, you're good at it. 6 rupees. 6 rupees. Hussain bhai, how are you? But it's good, I like it. It's just bread. It's good bread. Good for eating. That's great bread, yeah. yeah. Fills you up a bit. Where can I toss this? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes, yes, for sure. I just litter? Yeah. Just litter. You know, uh, you are helping out the poor with that also. What a different mentality. We're trying a coconut and coconut water in Dharavi, the largest slum in the world. How much is it? The packet of water, coconut water is rupees 10, and with the whole coconut, it is 40 rupees. Coconut water in Dharavi. I spilled a bunch. Trying not, not to get my mouth on the edge because it's probably going to get me sick. This might be where I f up, but f it. Everyone's doing something. This dude's carrying uh, paint buckets, the, uh, fruit paint stands on the side. Paint. We're exploring an alley now. Most of these alleys before we go through, there was people praying on my right. These are all houses on the left and right of me. When you look in front, every single door is a house. Some have multiple rooms, some have less. And when we wanted to go through here, the guy was like, what are you doing coming through here? These are houses. Sharik speaks to them. Tells them, hey man, we're just exploring. And it takes you ooh, to a little courtyard. I was now in this courtyard with a bunch of kids. I asked them questions about education, mobile video games, and turns out one of the kids has almost 100,000 subscribers. When they learned I had one mil, they freaked out. Huh? Are you a YouTuber? Am I a YouTuber? You are a YouTube channel. Do I look like a YouTuber? Yes. Yes, no, yes, yes. Ten lakh. Oh. 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 I said my goodbyes and kept exploring. Around the corner was a cloth factory. 
under the table inside was a dude resting. He was literally just under the table. They each make 60 pants a day and get paid $200 a month. They're getting paid $1.20 per hour here. Okay, that's where they sell the clothes. Hey, guys, thank you. It's okay for me to get it for the boys. Split it, you guys split it. Thank you. I don't know, but this is the... No, I want to explore and, and step out of here so let's ASAP. Go yeah, but let's go through here. Okay. Let's explore this area. Maybe it will throw us off the track, you know? We have a lot of looks right now. It's okay, because they have never seen a foreigner here. What's up, bro? You guys watch Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast! Real? Real money? Mr. Beast? Money? Yeah, Mr. Beast is a beggar for money, he say. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. real, real. He, he hates him, right? YouTube man! They're going to be Mr. Beast, Ravi. No! Huh? No, he doesn't I like Mr. Beast at all. They're assembling it, all of the pieces. So, this is what a fair looks like in the world's largest slum, Dharavi. They're assembling a Ferris wheel behind you. Or if you saw this shit in the wet, the reason this works is because they're not all obese here. So they can hop on that and it won't break. We're in the US, that shit don't hold the weight limit. The kid on the left had a stick in hand ready to stab his friend. Don't fight, don't fight. Yo, what's up, brother? What is your name? What's up, brother? My name? Arab. He was about to stab him with a. Hey. Friends, be friends. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, hey, don't stab each other, man. Don't stab each other. Learn, learn how to be friends. You guys are all from the same place. Yes. Yeah, same hometown. Yes. You guys need to take care of each other. Yes. You understand? Yes. You speak English well. Okay. Or only yes. He only, he only knows yes. <laughs> These kids are the street rats that cause trouble yes. for sure. And these are the ones that grow up to be gangsters. Yo, listen, look at me. You guys are all little rascals. Yes! In, in the US, we would say you're a piece of shit. Yes! Say yes. 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 Now say, yes. say, you say, you should subscribe to ArabUncut.com. Subscribe to. Subscribe. To ArabUncut. No, subscribe ArabUncut. Yes. Abira's Chinese Corner. There's a Chinese food shop here. Probably use rat meat. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Hustling with onions. Come on, sit. We've just picked up a ride and we're paying him to take us out. We're now entering the leather factories in the slums of Mumbai. So this is leather? This is and real, like real leather, like yeah? Like this is leather. Leather straps, they're selling belts. We're inside the leather factories of Dharavi. All these rooms are cloth factories, the cheapest labor in the world that you can find. I'm being followed right now by two kids. So he uses a paper to cut out the size of a t-shirt. Yeah, see, jacket. Newspaper. So you jacket. Yeah. Oh shit, he makes that here? Yeah, bags. Okay, real poor leather quality. Look at the alley that's there. We're climbing up right now. So they cut leather in here. How are you? How much can they make a month doing that? 80, 90 cents an hour to chop up leather. That's what we're inside. And you can be seeing the extended cuts of all these to see real life on ArabUncut.com. You can also buy some merch to help support the channel. I give out a lot of money to make these videos as intense as we can so that we can get exclusive access to places like these and get them to tell us how much they earn and all these other secrets. This is real life. And you don't need to feel bad for it. But it should just show you to feel good about what you got. People are out here hustling no matter where they're born. They're not complaining. They don't have time to complain here. Depression isn't a thing. You work. Do you have wallets? What? 
<laughs> Man's wallet? Oh, hell yeah. Gucci. USB Do you have Louis Vuitton? LV guy, LV. LV. Oh, really? It's a poor shop like that? Super dry. Super dry? How much is this one? 12.50. What? Okay, listen, 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 listen. I'll buy it right now, no questions asked. 500. This buy 3.50. 500. 500 rupees. I won't ask questions. I came in two minutes and I leave. Good? That's how you do business.